Hey, this is Robot, service manager at Vespa Motorsport. I'm going to give a quick tour of our new shop and some of the innovations and, and new stuff we have here. This is the showroom right here. And as you can see, it's full of mostly Vespa and Piaggio products and also a couple Chemco's and quite a few buddies as those are a popular seller for us. And around the perimeter, we have Alex's vintage collection and they're all up high and one of those is Wade Parker's, Scooter Daddy Wade Parker's and we have the pockets for helmets and some other accessories and the sales floor up there Cool patches, stickers, accessories, keychains you can have. You pretty much have them all here. The LED Vespa sign. Goggles galore. And more accessories. I'm going to take you into our warehouse where our parts manager Steve is going to take over. <laughs> Here's late night worker Steve doing some heavy duty computing over here. What's up? <laughs> and here's some of our aisles. The aisle I'm going down now is vintage parts. And all the lights are all on motion sensors here, so they turn on as you walk down the aisles. And we got everything. You need the gear. This is fourth gear for your P125. What else do you need? Name a part. How about the horn rubber for your 70s Vespa? We got that. And we also have it in white if you want. And crankshafts, piston rings, pistons. It's a Piaggio T5 piston. Where else are you going to find that in America? Down here, a couple gaskets. And kind of the empty Hall of Fame, I guess. <laughs> More vintage parts. What do you want? You want a coil for a Rally 200? Flywheels. Mufflers. Nice 226 pipes, the best you can get if you were looking for a performance pipe for your vintage Vespa. Parts. And more parts. And the next couple aisles are more modern stuff. We've got specialized tools for both modern vintage Vespas. Manuals, lots of modern parts, patches, a whole wall of Melosi parts, as we're the authorized Melosi dealer in the United States. And this aisle has a lot of genuine parts for the buddies, a couple of Kimco parts, Bajaj parts, we probably have the last supply of them in America. Control cables. And we have the workstations for Max, Alex, and Steve. Take your orders. Next, we're going to go to the shipping department. Boxes. We have Eddie, Scooter, and Digger working here. They package up your orders. 
get a two day UPS air, or you can use, get a good old mail. Couple 70s postcards. And here's the rest of our warehouse. So you see the lights went on. Kind of larger items. You got windshields, accessories, chrome, bars, racks. more larger accessories and parts. And more parts along with the receiving receiving desk. And a battery charging station down there. Next, coming into our service department. A little larger than our old shop. We got four lifts set up here. State of art tools. Couple toolboxes, welding equipment, and the wall of most most all Piaggio factory tools for both vintage and modern Vespas here. And here's our parts parts desk here. Kevin works this desk here, and he's also our service writer. He takes in all of the service work. up here. This is a Jalera runner and two other bikes that we've raced. And now I'm going to take, take you through the halls and in here is more warehouse area. Top cases, helmets, bags, jackets, shirts, all that, that good stuff. I'll take you into Alex and Monica's office where accounting and administrative goodness happens. And we have a customer lounge in here. case with some of the the finds from the building when we renovated the building. Cigarettes from the 20s, receipts from from the anywhere from the 20s all the way into the 40s when this this building was used as a produce distribution company. And another small office for Bob Stencil who does our our web page editing. He has a copy stand to take photos of the product. And here's the employee's lounge. He's got the all important coffee makers. Not all that big, but it does the job. And refrigerator's got an ice maker. Not too many science experiments growing in it yet. Pretty much your tour of most of our new building and we have a couple other areas that are kind of more of the dirty warehouse with overstock and extra scooters and eventually we'll get to the renovation of the outside of the building and we'll do a tour of the outside soon. This